That's the class scooter. You see the class there? Huh, buddy? You're doing a school project where they analyze my social media and give me ideas to grow social media and to increase my reach and my messaging. It helps me, gives me some fresh looks at the things I'm doing and uh, you know I'm always about being involved with schools any way I can. Always like to connect with the kids, man. I was not a good kid. All right, Let, let's give it a shot. All right, bye. So that was them. Uh, they all have their releases to be in our vlog. Okay, well I just turned my camera on. <laughs> it's uh, a group of freshmen that I'm meeting with today, but I think it's the entire school that's going to be part of this and they're going to work with me as if I was a client of theirs and they were coaching me on how to do social media. And they are calling. Hello. Hello. <laughs> I'm I'm more than ready. I'm I'm excited. So I want to start off with who or what was your inspiration for making your channel? Um, okay, I want you to see this. This looks like a, it looks like a spaceship. Uh, do you have any goals for your subscriber count or just total subscribers? How amazing was that? Those kids were so professional. They ask the absolute perfect questions. Scooter, what do you think about that class, buddy? Scooter, what do you think about that class? Man, how, how really cool is this project gonna be? I'm gonna move right into uh, some tech stuff. I had uh, somebody ask me what camera I'm shooting on, and I told them I'd build it into the next vlog, so there you go. It is a Canon EOS M6. This is the camera that I use for most of my vlogging. Um, I also use a G7X Mark II. I also use a GoPro Session uh, 5. So those are the cameras I'm using. I just put up a video, if you didn't see it, I'll link it at the end of this video, um, about basically my journey, my travels, what have got me to the place I'm at. Uh, I had also filmed my plane flight over. So today's gonna be a little bit different, y'all. I am going to put that video in now and y'all can take a look what I had filmed there. Our flights have been delayed. I'm going to find the animal relief area. Or scooter. Animal relief area. We have made it. That was the longest airport walk I think I've ever done in my life. I love the little <laughs> fire hydrant. So I guess you just push this button here to rinse. You can hear it all hooked up to the drain. Pretty cool little setup. I guess this is for if you got the heavy work you can use. You know, I think this is how you must turn it on. But they got the puppy mitts in case you're picking up the heavy stuff. It's really pretty handy and I think something a lot of people probably don't know about. All right, now all the way back across the entire airport. Almost back. Two more concourses to go. I wish I could just stop for a bite to eat, but at this point, we're racing the clock. As I've said before in multiple videos, this mission, thank you, getting these vets on bikes means the world to me because, you know, there's something that all of us that ride can relate to in the fact that it frees us up. It makes us feel free. We're only worried about the moment and not dealing with all the struggles of our past, no matter what that might be. Some of the most gratifying work of my life. And this is the return to Concourse C. Say hello. <laughs> Chicago hero, you gotta step up your game, people. That's ridiculous. My leg's on fire. I gotta sweat. Uh, but most importantly, my dog got to use the restroom, so thank you for having that at least. So we made it on the plane in time. It's always nice when they have the little TVs. Usually, usually there's some sort of games. It's the little things when you spend two and a half hours in a box with 150 strangers. You comfortable, boy? You comfortable? Boy, you stay. So I've been trying the coconut water. Must be super healthy. Yeah. 
trying to make some improvements. Old age is catching up with me. <laughs> Always meet the most interesting people when traveling. Well, next to me is Miss Amanda. Hey. So Amanda is from Iowa. Iowa. She actually has a YouTube channel. Yes. So I thought I'd share it with y'all. What exactly do you cover? Well, I'm really into roadside attractions, specifically of the world's largest variety. And um, in my opinion, the most exciting part about seeing a large object is when you first spot it and you get closer and closer as you're walking toward it. So my YouTube channel basically just focuses on me or whoever I'm with, just kind of running toward the object. Um, yeah. Amanda loves Elba. Amanda loves? Elba, E-L-B-A. I am gonna check it out. I suggest you do the same. All right, now I'm gonna get back to editing today's video. Carolina. I am happy and excited to go get my bike. Look who I just ran into. <laughs> hey guys, gals. Are you, are you kidding me here? So I just got to Ray Price. He's sitting here and how are you liking the new bike, man? I love the new bike. It's an amazing bike. It runs great. It looks great. Sounds great. And is super light. I could not be any happier. <laughs> that thing is amazing. Hell yeah, brother. Rock and roll, man. Well, you deserve it. That's for sure. There she is. Oh, that's my girl. I missed you dearly, baby. Looking good. All serviced up. Brand new tires, Scooter. Brand new tires, all detailed. Dang, she didn't look this good the day I got her. Front and back. Looking good. Man, I love that girl. Love that girl. I'll tell you what, uh, it has been a couple weeks without my bike and it has broken my heart. Not only has it been uh, very difficult traveling in airports, I realized how much more I enjoy my two wheels than the airports, TSA and lines and walking all over the airport and you know, Ubers in and Ubers out. I think I spent more in Ubers in the last two weeks than a month's worth of fuel in this girl right here. I am happy to have her back. Listen y'all, I'm gonna load it up. That's the end of today's vlog. I'm gonna go put down some miles.